All right, well, without much ado, I am going to test the formerly Nerd Gears, formerly mining card, Sapphire Radeon R9 384 gig. The $30 shipped GPU I got on Cyber Monday. Uh, I'm gonna hook up a video cable to this. Oh yeah, DVI, that's right. Probably the first time it's ever had a display cable hooked into it. And flip the switch. So we're gonna throw this right into Hive. I'm not sure if it's normal for the fans to not spin right off the bat. We'll see, I am using one of the uh, Nerd Gear sourced power splitters just to test it. So there's a lot of unknowns here. Um, and I'm not sure, I don't think there will be an issue, but, um, oh, there come the fans. This is a, an AM5 Zen 4 7700X system. And yeah, it's obviously a lot newer than the R9. So looks like we do have a display signal, which is excellent. And I see the flash drive lighting up. So once it's in hive, let's, uh, let's take a look, but it looks like we're, we should be okay. Okay, we are in Hive idling. We are at 60 watts total system on 110 volts for this 600 watt gold Sigatet power supply, the 7700X at stock in this B550M Riptide with a Sapphire Radeon RX, no, sorry, R9 380X 4 gig. So uh, since I've never had one of these before and it has Elpida RAM, which is not great on the um, Polaris cards. I'm gonna see if there's any presets. Aha, so we have Ergo and Kapow and Beam. So we have some saved stuff here. Uh, I'm actually gonna apply one for Kapow to see what the core ends up looking like. And let's throw it on Kapow. And another crash. Maybe I'll try something older like Claymore or Phoenix. Well, Phoenix straight up crashed it, or I guess shut it down. I'm wondering if the drivers are too new. Cause so far every minor program is like seeing the card, but it's crashed when it's uh, had a kernel failure. So maybe I'll try that. I'll try rolling the uh, Hive OS version back to something from 2019 when this card was still officially supported. And we'll see. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one, which is a legacy AMD version. It's a little bit earlier. I actually just found that Hobbyist Miner used 380s in 2021 on a very similar version. So I'm gonna grab that. We'll see if that AMD driver, um, which is 20.30, will work better uh, with this card. So I'm gonna have to upgrade it back for the P106, but it's at least worth trying. I wanna see if I can get this mining. Okay, yeah, the older drivers seem to have kind of been the ticket. So 21.35 mega hash completely stock. And we are 180 watts above resting. Yet I don't have any fan movement yet. It says 77 degrees core. Uh, whoops. Okay, so auto fan doesn't work, but I put 80% on here. Let me cool this down a little bit before we do any overclocking. 91's a little toasty. Uh-oh, I crashed it. Mining stopped. GPU exceeded 90 degrees. All right, I'm not going to push too hard just because, A, I don't have the time, and B, I don't really care too much, but we're showing 20.7 mega hash. And it's showing 87 watts software. That's actually 106 watts at the wall after conversion losses. And that's using 965 core voltage, 1450 memory, no mem tweak, no DPM states, no nothing. And honestly, that's better than I anticipated. Uh, these are notoriously pretty power hungry cards. This is a 380X. I noticed, um, according to at least the drivers, I don't know if that's accurate, but I think it is. Um, but anyway, that's ETC, so that would have been ETH hash performance to 20.66. Um, yeah, next up, I'm going to try Ergo. Seems like that works. I'll try Kapow, both on Lol Miner with the same version, just to see what happens. A uh, little bit more core on Kapow, but we'll do Ergo next, since it should be very similar. 
I have to say these old releases of Hive, everything is snappy, even from a flash drive. Sorry, I can hear a cat too. <laughs> hey bud. Uh, damn it, <laughs> lost my train of thought. Uh, so Ergo, it looks like we're doing about 41 mega hash a second at 80 watts. Although I did just see it drop down to 22, so maybe that's not fully stable, but I was getting 40 or 41, and again, 80 watts at the wall. Oh, it's back up to 41. I think that's reasonable. Even got an accepted share over here. So uh, not great. So like an RX 470 or 460 will do 50 or 60 mega hash at the same wattage. So I mean, this is a third less efficient than a Polaris card, which are really cheap these days. So, you know, mining with one of these doesn't really make sense, but if you want heat, if you straight up want heat and you want like a little bit of money in return, these are so cheap. This is so cheap. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, all right, let's try Ravencoin. And then after that, I'm going to try Zell too, which is now Flux. I just want to see. All right, so I couldn't get ProgPow to work. Uh, I think it's probably just an issue of like the minor version not communicating with the pool correctly, but it was giving me some errors. And then Flux also won't work. Probably just due to, again, a miner being too new, even though the drivers are okay now. So I'll try Caspa before I stop, but at least we got to see ETC and Ergo. So those are still relevant coins. I mean, they're both memory forward, which is probably most what this thing is relevant for. Not that it's relevant at all. Um, the core, I'm sure, is very weak by modern standards. So amazingly, Caspa actually does work. Looks like it's doing 86 mega hash, and it is actually dragging 86 to 88 watts as well. So about a watt per mega hash, which is one seventh of a, an efficient. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, whatever. It, it's bad efficiency. I think it's one-seventh of a modern efficient graphics card, but it will mine Caspa. <laughs> so there you go. It's reading 85 up there. The average is climbing at 79 in the software. So I think that will do it for the R9 380X 4 gigabyte with Alpita memory. And again, this was a $30 shipped pickup, and I'm probably just going to use it to be a video out or a vintage, you know, gaming PC graphics card. So it's in great shape. The paste and the pads seem to have held up really well. The fans are good. This one does squeak below 30% fan speed, I'm noticing. So that might be part of the lower grade. But yeah, it, and it's all been running through one of the 95 cent uh, splitters. I don't know, this kind of stuff's fun to me. So hopefully you at least enjoyed it a little bit. If not, sorry about that, but um yeah next up we'll see uh, i've got that p106 as well so stay tuned